buckle up, cause the road ahead is gonna be bumpy. <laughs> You ever get in your car, you're all excited, going on a trip, everything's great, forgot your luggage, <laughs> going back again, oh, and uh, yeah, there's a few issues, the kids need to stop over right now and use the bathroom, oh, this is really getting good, oh, and the traffic lights are broken, and there's like 10 million cars in front of you and we're not getting anywhere, and there's potholes on the way, <laughs> this is not a rap song, why? Can it be so tricky? What is the purpose of this? Let me tell you a story. I'm about nine, 10, little kid, primary school. When things need to be fixed, you had different builders coming in to do the job. I love art. Anybody who knows me, I love art. There was this one builder, a massive guy, and he's got this beautiful dragon tattoo. It's got the ice and the fire, and it's this whole zigzag of a dragon. And so I, I see it walked over to him at the playground. I was like, ooh, that's cool. Show me, master. He's like, oh, there we go. I take a look at it. I said, what does it mean? He goes, well, right. See this dragon? The dragon symbolizes generosity. Ooh, generosity, yeah. Bravery, kind of, no. There was like a list of incredible dragon powers, right? This guy had the dragon arm. Whoa! And suddenly I turn around. It's my rabbi. He walks over and he turns to the Walkman and he says in his very European accent, very nice, what, the, what are you showing him? And I was all embarrassed and, no, no, I, I want to see. The Walkman shows him his beautiful dragon tattoo and he says, this dragon, and he began to explain, represents generosity and bravery and power and all the cool stuff. And the rabbi looks at him, I have a tattoo too. Would you like to see mine? No, I'll be honest with you guys, I was like, this rabbi has a tattoo. I, I was nine, but I, I gotta see this. Like, come on, rabbi with a tattoo. This is cool. And the rabbi picks up his sleeve, and sure enough, there's a few numbers on his arm, tattooed right there from his days in the camps during World War II, during the Holocaust. The rabbi turns to the workman and he says, this means I am a survivor. It also means that the Jewish people are eternal. And the rabbi walks him back to class and well, twinkle in his eye, he says to me, life can burn people out. And life, the journey can be exhausting. So many different things are happening. The question is, what do you do with the difficulties, the obstacles that come up against you? Do you give in to them? Or do you say, I'm going to use those experiences to become stronger, to become a better giver, to be more caring? to be the best version of myself for others. And that rabbi, Rabbi Weiss, continued to give back. He stayed in education, building so many generations. And to Rabbi Weiss and so many others like him, thank you. Life is not just about reaching our destination. It's the journey itself that matters. Be great, be a giver. Keep marching on and Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>